All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So once again, another deck profile for a deck going off of Daily Duels. And of course, you would be getting a video, a deck that would be going on Daily Duels for the next month or so. So today, Kaiser Utopia. Uh, once again, another deck where, you know, it pretty much just, hey, focus the entire deck on this one card. And those are the hardest of decks. I know, as you will master it, I know. When you try to focus your entire deck on one card, it's really difficult, you know? There's really no archetype to go with it. There's no, uh, you just gotta kinda find synergy. So, you know, Kaiser Utopia. Pretty much the gist of it is that it's two or more number of monster, XC monsters with the same rank that have XC materials. And uh, <laughs> the extra deck is tight, the deck is tight. So my pretty much the gist of the deck is that I'm trying to bust out two uh, number monsters in the same turn and bust out the Kaiser. And then his effects is kind of meteoric as well. Once per turn, I can special summon any number of rank 9 or lower number monsters with 3,000 attack or less from my extra deck uh, that have different ranks. And overall, I mean, maybe you could maybe pull off an OTK for singles, but it was tag. I could really only pull him off once. If I try to pull him off twice, the extra deck space just got really tight. And this deck was a struggle. It really was. And the only thing I kept in afloat is just how powerful rank 4s are in general. Also, the minister cannot be uh, destroyed by battle or by card effects if I... Wow, I must say, you want to scroll down? Thank you. <laughs> well, I have another mon number monster, and uh, battle damage is halved. Like I said, it's just, I, I really didn't enjoy my time with Kaiser. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe it got voted on just out of pure curiosity, but uh, this last month, it was not the funnest deck, but I can't, I can't say that for sure. I was like, you know, how do we approach uh, just busting out these rank fours really quick? Well, you know, let's go ahead and throw in the clown engine. There's not a lot of uh, clown engine action that's been on the channel, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with that. So uh, you can clearly see it's kind of like a, a clown uh, performage, clown blade esque deck, and <laughs> pretty much just is bust out them rank fours as best as possible. So of course we are running uh, the triple trick clown. You know what it does. The hat tricker. You already know what it does. Uh, I, I don't want these deck profiles to go too long. Uh, lately, they've been like 10 20 minutes, so I'm gonna try to at least speed this one up. Uh, damage Juggler. D damage Juggler so good. Like, you play three and he's, he got banned in the LCD, and justifiably so. Like, you know, blocking that damage, getting the search, like, it's just so good. He's, like, he's the enabler of these two, so definitely. Uh, I didn't think it needed to be, you know, banned, or I didn't think it was gonna get banned. Maybe, maybe limited, you know, maybe limited, but not banned. So, whew! Alright, so obviously, the Perform Mage Engine, it's a Clown Blade deck. Uh, then, of course, since there's some spellcasters in here, we're gonna run that uh, Jigglebite. Uh, so, the two Jigglebites and the one Arch Artreed Eater. So, that's generally how they play. I think they generally play three Jigglebite, though, but, you know, you can only control one Jigglebite. So, it's not like you go Jigglebite, Jigglebite, Jigglebite. So, it's like, you know what, let me go ahead and play uh, one Artreed Eater. <laughs> what are you laughing at? His name is Jigglebite! I mean, what do you want me to say? Oh my god, seriously, go away, mom. So yeah, one arch meter. Then the the blade engine, because I personally think that the you know, the trick clown engine well they, 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 they kinda of took out the, the blade engine, I kinda of feel like it's more lackluster. Like one of the best things was sound blade with the trick clown and just going rank four, rank four, rank four. So now it's just like eh, you know what they're doing now. I mean I can't really, you know, talk shit or say anything because before me and pals they don't really run it and they're doing like fantastic but i kind of feel like i like the engine so uh you run two assault halbergs one thousand blade of course uh, assault halberg special summon and get the damage in search so i can go ahead and search but in case i already have this i can go ahead and at least get a search for another one because he can search for himself so two one that's generally the ratio that you see uh two summer monks of course you know lots of spells in here well at least decent amount of spells 15 is fine for uh summer monk so once again more rank four play uh, three goldfish, the three Goblinberg, and the two Kage. Two Kage because Kage can clock at three, so, yeah. Spells, one Rota, because it went down to one, one Soul Charge, just in case. Uh, you know, Soul Charge is dumb, Rogeki, two Dark Holes, just go ahead and wipe if need be. Uh, you can clearly see there's no Rota Decree, and the reason why there's no Rota Decree in comparison is because I really want to uh, feed spells to Summer Monk, like that. This is just MSTs, uh, Upstar Goblins, one Twin Twister. Uh, there's a couple cards that I want to discard, but I was trying to, you know, number generate it up. Make sure I get that Twin Twister pitch, you know, pop some background. And then, of course, the three infusion for more rank four in order in action, because it's just that good. Uh, the extra deck space was tight. Uh, first, I was running multiple Kaisers, multiple upgrades with Kaisers in this monster that I summoned. But then I decided to go against it, just because I pretty much bust out a Kaiser. He really wouldn't do much, and then I would lose because I would be so devoted. So I decided to. So, 
to make it so, hey, I have to bust out Kaiser, hey, look, I, it's a Kaiser Utopia act, I did it, congratulations, now let's play some serious dueling, if maybe. So, once again, one Kaiser, it's really all you need, if you run more, your extra deck gets too tight with the, with the three Norden, because, you know, Norden is just so good, uh, then the monsters that I'm going to be summoning off of Norden, my uh, Galaxy Eyes and my Beyond Hope, uh, you could run cards like Full Armor and stuff, but you can't special summon for the rest of the turn when you activate its effect. So you'd really, literally, and especially in attack deck, you'd wait, have to wait four turns, come back around, and I'm, I can't guarantee that this card is going to survive. So I'd rather just have him as a 3,000 beater and not worry about trying to attempt to turn him in full armor. Maybe if it was just singles duel and you could, you know, turn around in one turn, then sure. But you know, an attack duel where I got to wait four turns, it's just not worth it. So 3,000 beater, 3,000 beater. Uh, then this is one of the number monsters that I use. So 101 and Diamond Crab King. So pretty much summon these two and. Put them, exceed them too into this. It's pretty much the gist. Uh, of course, rank four. So we got the Patola Miles, Nova into the Infinity, because you know any rank four deck that can bust it out, especially this deck can bust this out with ease. So why not? Uh, the triple cast out. Why did I go triple cast out? Just in case. Cast out is the the go-to rank four monster. If shit is been going bad, I mean, nine times out of ten, cast out can handle it for you. So like I said, if uh, I can't really do Kaiser. I don't really want to use these two. Like I said, these aren't the monsters that you just go to just to go to. They are literally and deliberately used just for Kaiser. So, like, uh, uh, cast out, you gotta handle it. You gotta handle pretty much uh, the majority of situations that come up. Uh, King of the Feral Ramp, because of course we have some uh, reptiles that we can search. So, uh, as we know from uh, Kaka Pipi Poo Poo deck, King of the Feral Ramps is a super enabler, and then the three Nordens. So, like I said, I busted out Kaiser a couple of times, and with lackluster results. There's never been a time where I'm just like, oh yeah, Kaiser's so too strong, oh great! You know, yeah, sure, he's a freaking Utopia, but you know, he ain't that strong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there you go. The deck is off. Like, I really wish that, that I could have made it more themed related, but it was just another deck based around one monster, you know, and you guys go ahead and suggest it, and it gets voted on, so, you know, there's plenty of troubleshooting that goes through the system, and it just happened to pop up. So, uh... You guys can go ahead and take it. If you guys have any suggestions, keep them to yourself because I don't care. I'm, I don't plan on playing Kazi Utopia anytime soon, <laughs> and nor do I even uh, plan on re-putting on the polls for January. You know, so there you go. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching. We got one more deck profile tomorrow. We'll be seeing the deck profile of uh, Despots. I'll be going over that, and then that'll be it, you know, and then for the next upcoming month, it'll just be, uh, just duels with the current decks until, uh, we roll around to mid-January and we do it all again, so, and, uh, this is just a great way to keep, uh, daily duels nice and fresh and interesting, so, alright people, thanks for watching.